Jury selection is underway in the child pornography trial of Josh Duggar that began in Northwest Arkansas this morning. The former reality star is currently facing two counts of possessing child pornography. He faces 20 years in prison on each, along with fines of up to $250,000. And we are learning more about yesterday's pretrial hearing. The judge called for Monday's hearing after the prosecution presented two new witnesses. Prosecutor, prosecutors want to bring up prior allegations that Duggar molested four of his sisters when he was a minor. He was never charged with a crime connected to those allegations. The judge is expected to make a decision today on whether or not to allow the prosecution to bring them up in this trial. Be sure to stay with THV 11 and THV 11.com for the very latest on the trial as it progresses. As begun as the child porn pretrial for Josh Duggar continues today. Good afternoon. I'm Mallory Brooks. Thanks for joining us for Arkansas Today. If he is convicted, Duggar could spend up to 20 years in prison and pay fines up to $250,000 per count. During a pretrial hearing, the court heard testimony from his father, Jim Bob Duggar, and Bobby Holt, a friend of the Duggar family. Holt said her daughter was dating Josh in 2003 when she and her husband were called over to the Duggar house. That's where she said Josh confessed to touching four underage girls inappropriately. Jim Bob Duggar testified he only remembered Josh admitting to touching the girls' chests. The prosecution wants to use the testimony during the actual trial, but because both Jim Bob and the Holts were leaders of their church, the defense claims the confessions happened with the understanding of clergy confidentiality. Jim Bob told the judge he feels the conversations qualified as confidential spiritual counseling, but Bobby Holt argued it was a conversation between parents. Under Arkansas law, clergy members are generally still obligated to report serious matters like this. I would say that any evidence that someone has admitted to a certain type of wrongdoing or has engaged in a similar type of wrongdoing in the past, if admitted at trial, is always going to have an impact on the jury. There are limited exceptions to the mandatory reporting based on how confidential that conversation was. The judge has asked more information to be briefed on the matter than he will decide if the Duggar parents or the Holtz can testify during the trial. We'll, of course, keep you updated on the trial throughout the week. The new Omicron a jury has been selected and Josh Duggar's child pornography trial will start in the morning, but a major question still remains unanswered tonight. Will the judge allow testimony related to allegations that Duggar inappropriately touched girls in the past? Anna Darling was in the courtroom and has more from today's proceedings. It took nine hours of questioning by Judge Timothy Brooks and attorneys from both sides of this case to seat the 12 jurors and alternates for the trial. The jury pool was filled with a little more than 50 people. Judge Brooks spent most of the day questioning the jurors about their knowledge of the Duggar family and media coverage about this case. A majority of the potential jurors had watched at least a few episodes of the Duggar's reality TV show. Attorneys asked if anyone had experience managing a small business. Investigators found child porn on Duggar's work computer. We also learned about potential witnesses today. Jim Bob Duggar was not on the list, but his two children Jill and Jedediah were on the list. Judge Brooks did not make a decision today regarding yesterday's evidentiary hearing about allowing allegations that Duggar molested four minor girls when he was a teenager. We're hoping to get a ruling on that before the trial officially starts tomorrow morning around 9 a.m. Reporting in Fayetteville, I'm Anna Darling. Back to you.